Hello, welcome to introduction to Java programming. In this session, uh, we will discuss uh, how to create custom or user defined packages. So we have seen how to import the packages. Now we are going to create our own packages. Let's begin. You know, a package is a grouping thing, which groups classes, interfaces, abstract classes, and of course, sub packages can be also there in a package. And in order to access a package from other package, we need an import keyword. And we have also understood we can import explicitly and we can import implicitly. And of course, by using the fully qualified name, we can also import the classes and uh, class and interfaces to our class actually, or our application. Now, so how to create our own packages, custom packages. So for that, we need a package keyword. So now uh, let's understand uh, with the help of programs, how we can actually create our own package and how we can keep our classes, interfaces into a package and how this package is actually imported in some other package. And before going to do that, let's understand one more important thing Whenever you are actually creating packages or keeping your classes in a package, remember to keep your classes, constructors, and methods as public. Because when you move out of a package, you cannot access the members unless they are public. Okay? And we have unspecified or default specifier also, which has package a scope. That means anything that you declare and which, which you you have not given public or which you have not given private. That means simply left it. So that is unspecified. That is the default and which has a package scope. That means within the package, they're av available to access. But when you move out of the package, you cannot access that. Right? So unspecified or default specification or access modifier speaks of package scope. And we have one more thing called protected. See, so protected by default is package scope. That means protected is by default unspecified. Plus, since it is protected, protected child classes from anywhere can access them. Right? That means a protected member can be accessible within a package. And those members can be accessible to the child classes anywhere else. Okay? So with this, we just go and see how to create our own packages. So here I'm going to create a package called package in dot Pune. So I can create a package called in, I can create a package called Pune separately, but I am creating a top level packages in, and then I have a, a sub package called Pune. And in this package, I would like to keep this class ABC. Okay. So in fact, you can actually have whatever you want. So dot, 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 you can actually mention whatever you want. So there's no, limitation to the length but you have to see that the length is actually a properly uh, a reasonable length you have to give it now i am happy with the in dot pune now i am going to keep this class abc i'm going to the, keep this class abc in this particular pune class now what this class see i have made my classes public because i am keeping them in packages so i want somebody else from other package to access it and of course, our data member should be private because that's what encapsulation is about. And I have a constructor, which is also public because somebody wants to create an object of ABC, the construct should be available, right? And int A and this dot A equal to A, this is how we construct the value. And I have a get A, so this get A will return A value. So this is my simple business class with a class having one data member, one constructor and one getter. So if at all I want, I can actually have so many other things also defined as part of Windows Pune, but now I am, uh, this much is enough, right? So now let me compile this. So let me compile this. Usually in order to compile this, what we do Java C and we say ABC dot Java, right? And this dot class file is going to get uh, placed in the current directory. So that's what we are doing so far. But here you need to understand something. So this is the normal way. Right? But here, whenever you are using packages, now you have to follow some special syntax. Java compiler is there, Java C, because it has to be compiled. Fine. So this is the 
this is the normal way actually and here whenever you have packages what you have to do java c then you have see you have to say hyphen d hyphen d hyphen d d for destination right so where the dot class file has to be kept so we are telling the java compiler now generate the dot class file and keep in a destination so what is the destination the current directory a dot is the current directory java c space hyphen d space dot dot means current directory and then i am saying compile this file with the name abc dot java okay so now what happens this abc dot java results into abc dot class and that file is going to be placed in the current directory now let's understand the what is that current directory right that current directory is nothing but your package your package okay let me show you that so this is what this is this is what we have to do when you have packages so let me compile this let me compile this okay so now java c a b hyphen d you have to say hyphen d then dot and then you have to give the name of abc dot java now let's see it's compiled actually okay when you when it compiled just say ls now you can actually don't see abc dot class actually here now you are going to have this particular in package so first you have in package and if you go inside in if you go inside in so now you can say cd in change the directory to in then say ls then you have uh so let me say ls now you have pune package inside in there is a pune package and just go to pune package and then say ls now you are in pune and ls ls abc dot class well so your abc dot class file was kept in this particular package that is in dot pune right so let me come back so two times i will say cd sorry cd space dot dot i will come back so now i am actually into my um, path that is practice java so in my practice java there is a folder in inside this there is a pune folder then there is a abc dot class file was there okay so here you can actually see some other abc dot this is the old one actually so this abc dot one is old one so new one was actually created over here okay uh, so now if at all you want to see i can actually show you uh, by going to my uh, desktop okay so let me minimize all of these things so now i have something called practice dot java right this is my practice java and here if i see there is in package here inside in package there is a pune package and inside pune package there is abc dot class right so this is how you have to compile this is how you have to compile so now my dot class file is ready my dot class file is ready for abc dot uh, java now i want to run it so if at all you want to run you require a main method right so time being what we do is we will write main method right so this is for compilation just i am giving the comment here so normal way and when we are packaged so now let me write the main method because i want to run this so here also you need to understand one point so publish static void main now i want to create an object of abc so how do i create abc some small abc equal to new abc and i need to pass a value right so now i am passing one double line one double line and i am going to call a method that is get a method abc dot get a fine so this is how i can create an object in my main and i can call a so then uh, a value from class abc or value of a that will be better right so then value of a from class abc i am going to display now okay let me now save this so when i save i need to compile also let me compile here so now i will go to the same syntax that has to be followed to compile java c hyphen d dot abc dot java and compile successfully so now how to run actually so how to run so let's understand run also so how to run so in order to run this you need to have a special mechanism so normally normally what we do java and then we say abc this is the normal 
but now your dot class file is not there in the current directory it is there in a package in dot pune so that's why when you run you have to say java where is the abc is there in in package and inside in there is pune and then you have abc in dot pune dot abc so this is how you have to do so let me actually show you here by writing the same commands java c java in dot pune dot abc so your dot plus file was there in the pune package of in actually now let's see value of a from class abc is 199 so this is something which is new is that what one has to understand right so we have created our custom package this is our own package right why, why i'm saying custom package because in the java api we have so many packages io net sql util and io like like that so it's a custom package and in this custom package i have one class abc okay so now let's write one more package let's have one more package so here i have already the code written for that so now i have another package let's say this is in dot hyd so this again my custom package so that means inside in inside in package now i have hyd package and earlier i have pune package also right inside in folder now uh, pune is already there hyd is going to come now so i have a public class xyz i am deliberately making all my things public and i have x as private member and my constructor is constructing the x value and when i say get x and this is nothing but value x from value x from class xyz value of x from class xyz and this is the class action okay so let me compile this one also now you know how to compile so how to how to compile this xyz class java c hyphen d dot and then xyz dot java let's compile it's compiled actually so that means dot class file is available now let's see ls and in ls now what you do uh, in ls go to in actually so let's say in cd in now let's say ls now you have hyd and pune right in pune you have abc dot class and hyd you will have uh, xy dot class let's see for hyd so cd hyd and then say ls and you have xyz dot class file right so this is how the packages are going to get created okay so now i have xyz dot class file and abc dot class file and time being i am removing this my my main method i don't require my main method okay so i, I want to make my classes uh, pure business classes and abc dot uh, dot class file over here so let me compile that so that that will be available to me dot class file is available to me yeah that's fine so now i have abc dot class file x y dot class file so now i want to use these classes somewhere i want to use these classes somewhere so now i have a driver class so driver class is my main class okay so i'm going to write my main method now here in the driver class i want to use those classes i want to use those classes for example abc class i want to use and i want to create uh, an object of abc and i say new abc now an object should get created actually right an object has to get created and i know there is a method in abc that is get a i have to call this method right in the same fashion i want to create xyz object called small xyz and i am going to create this xyz as well but of course uh, these xyz and abc take some values right so i am taking one double line over here and i am taking one three nine over here okay so now i am saying xyz dot get x xyz dot get x okay so now for example i have written class like this public class driver and i am creating the objects of abc and xyz right will it get compiled will it get compiled let's see will it get compiled or not let's see and definitely it will not get compiled for sure so i am saying java c driver dot java c driver dot java yeah now first of all abc cannot be accessible and your xyz also cannot be accessible 
because they are in packages they are in some packages they are not in the same package as you are you are actually in a package called practice java that is the folder that is the default package but abc was there in in dot pune package and xyz was xyz was there in in dot hyd package so you cannot access them right so so far we are keeping all our classes in the default package and we could able to access but now i have kept my classes separately into different different packages so in order to access it what you need to do is you need to import the package so you need to import the package so import in dot pune dot so let me write properly import in dot pune dot star that means everything of uh, pune is going to get available actually so this is called implicit import it's implicit import and in order to import xyz i will use explicit now import in dot hyd dot xyz so xyz and this is what explicit import imp explicit import we know this already right yeah so now if i say uh in dot pune dot star and in dot hy dot xyz so now these classes are available to me right because i'm using abc and abc is available in pune dot star and xyz is available straight away i'm uh, importing it now there is there will be no problem but one important point you need to understand here is whenever you are importing custom packages whenever you are using uh, your own packages and you are importing it whenever you are importing your own packages you, you should also be in a package that you should not forget this is very important you want to access a package you should access from other package that means you should also be in a package so now i am going to create a package this is my package my package is in package actually so i am in in package package in right so in the in package straight away i have a class called driver class in the driver class what i am doing i am invoking and i'm uh, methods of other classes by creating objects of them right so the here the rule is if at all you want to import custom packages custom packages if you at all you want to import custom packages it should be what it should be in it should be in a package so it should it should maintain the same level actually it should be in a package so now i have made this class driver into in actually right some in package you want to give any other package name you can give also okay so now let me compile this okay so how to compile now because it's also there in a package now you have to go to this style actually java c hyphen d dot and then the class name is driver the class name is driver and the file name is driver dot java yeah now compile now compile if you say ls now you can actually see in package you can see in the in package in the in package now let's go to cd in and say ls now you will have all these things actually see in the in package right away i have driver dot class and two sub packages hyd and pune hyd has xyz and pune has abc right yeah so since it is compiled successfully i need to run it so how to run java java and in order to call driver i need to call in dot driver right i need to call java in is the package and my class name is driver so java space in dot driver no okay where it got stored actually let me see driver dot java let me save as and i think it is saving somewhere else okay driver dot java is here only in practice replace okay so now let me compile control l oh main method is already there right no problem so let me actually see java c hyphen d dot then space driver dot java let me compile so file not found 
oh actually i am into in package i have not come out of the in package that's a problem see i am into in package so i have to come out of it just to show you i have gone to in package so now actually i am into practice.java so that's a thing actually so the folder confusion was there so now java c hyphen d dot travel dot java so compiled successfully and now definitely it's going to work because i'm going to say in dot driver in dot driver now i can see in dot driver so it starts actually with the main method and here abc abc equal to new abc object created with one double line and abc dot get a you are getting the value of uh, a from the class abc value of x from the class xyz so both the values were getting right so since everything is public i could able to access it i could able to access it for example what i do is in xyz my constructor i will not make it public i am not go i am not making my constructor public actually so let me compile my x this class xyz yeah so this class so what i did my constructor is not public so that means it is default. Default means accessible within the package only. Accessible within the package only, right? But now what I'm doing, I am compiling my driver class. And now I want to run. I want to run. Yeah. So when I compile, actually, what is saying? XYZ int is not public in XYZ. So it's not getting compiled. So something which is non-public, I am using in my package. So public, it's not public. So it's a default. Default is not available actually, right? So that's what it says. Cannot be accessed from outside of the package. XYZ, XYZ, new XYZ. This constructor I cannot access because this constructor is not public. That's the error actually. So that's why you have to make sure all your methods, all your all your classes even so in order to access class all your classes all your constructors all your methods should be made public otherwise there will be an issue actually so now let me show you by compiling now properly so now compile xyz and compiling driver now it will get compiled properly because all are public members and in fact i can run it so java space in dot driver mm -hmm. Now you can see both the values are getting printed. Okay, so that's about creating custom packages with the package keyword. So in Java, if at all you are writing a first line, the first line should be the package. Everything else comes after package only. So all your imports, all your imports will be coming after the package. The first line, if at all you are writing in any Java program, that should be the package. Fine. So hope you understood. And this is about the packages. And in the next class, we will, uh, uh, in the next session, we will actually discuss exception handling. Thank you.